Hi guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about SE ranking. Now, if you're unfamiliar with SE ranking is, it's the only one SEO uh, software tool that you can use to check your uh, rankings on your website, keyword rankings in organic search. Um, they also do uh, keyword difficulty. So if you wanna know before you even start to uh, prepare content for a keyword, you can see what the difficulty of the keyword is. They also even have historical uh, data where you can check and see the rankings of your website and see have it increase or decline. But today what we're going to do is we're going to go over the keyword research tool part of it. And here we go. So right now I'm inside of SE rankings, right? And what I want to do is I want to like analyze a keyword just to see how difficult it would be to rank for that keyword right so the keyword I want to use is we're going to just going to do SC rankings review and we're going to analyze that now something I also missed here was that they also have a section here where you can choose uh, which country that you want to analyze that data from so you got the US uh, United Kingdoms Germany and you can even do a uh, bulk keyword analysis. So when you click on that, what you can do is you can just choose the country you want to uh, get the data from, and then you can just add in keywords manually. Once you just come down here, you can just uh, paste in your keywords here, or you can even do a text or CVS file right here. And once you got your keywords uploaded, you can just hit analyze keywords. And you can also come over here and choose which currency that you like. You can just choose for one of these currencies right here. And we're just going to stick with the uh, U.S. right now. So now when we get over here to the data, as you can see here, you got a difficulty. Now the difficulty part of it is the keyword difficulty assesses how challenging it would be to rank for the search query in the top 10 results. And right now it's saying a 24. When you see this green here, that means that is pretty uh be pretty easy to rank for that right but if you want to check all of them you just hover over here on the difficulty and you just click that and you can see the keyword seo difficulty ranges so next one we got here is the search volume and what that does is it's going to tell you the total number of monthly searches for a particular search query right so if you got 210 that's what you're going to get for out of the month and when we come over here to the CPC, this is going to do, it's going to give you like sort of like an estimate of the cost per click. And this is going to be coming from the Google's ad network, right? And then they also have some more competition data over here also. So when you scroll down, now we're getting into the keyword ideals. And this is a list of keywords that are systematically close to the analyzed keywords, right? So you got these similar keywords and it has SE and it got a dash over here, ranking review. And it's showing you it doesn't have any uh, search results here. Then it's also going to give you related keywords. And this is uh, alternative keywords that have the same pages ranking in the top 100 Google search results as the analyzed search for query. And then you're going to get the search volume for that. Then you got these uh, low search volume keywords and I want to talk about this a little bit more that I wouldn't disregard uh, low search volume keywords uh, sometimes uh, keyword tools are not uh, absolutely accurate so you may still get some searches from people even though it's saying that it's like a low search volume another thing I want to talk about since we're into the uh, keyword research is that I did a search here and this is for uh, digital marketing for small businesses. Now, the reason why I typed this one in and did a search here is I want to show you that if you're targeting keywords that you want to make sure that you don't have too many ads running for that keyword. So even if you do rank, you, you still might not get as much traffic as you think that you can get from that keyword because there's so many ads. And, here it is right here. Now, as you can see, they have four ads here. So uh, if somebody is searching uh, for this uh, keyword right here, um, 
you're gonna have scroll all the way down and here come a future snippet so that's gonna take a lot of the uh, digital real estate right there for you already for traffic it's gonna take a lot of the traffic away from you even if you do rank number one you know uh, you know people they have to scroll all the way down just to see your rankings now you can also see that there's got a people also X here so this is taking up a lot of space here to where now we're starting to get into the you know the organic type of search results here so it's gonna take a, a while for somebody you know somebody scrolling and stuff to go all the way down to see your results and you don't want that what you want is a keyword that when they first search for it they see organic search results up here to the top no ads or anything no people search no uh, feature snippets or any of that so I just want to show you that just to keep that in mind when you're doing your keyword research now let's jump back into it now as we scroll down um, you have organic results so what they're gonna do is they are showing you the uh, the organic results of SE ranking review and we also have the ranking dynamics and this is something I really like but this is a upgraded subscription right now I'm on a trial and what this does is like let's say if you are been ranking in the search organic uh, results right and this is going to show you if it's been going up if it's been going down in the last six months 12 months 18 months and this is valuable information especially if you're doing SEO because when you're doing SEO and you're trying different strategies you want to know which one is working right so you can kind of get a feel for which ones is working if you're doing backlinks or anything like that is it moving it up the notch or if it's bringing it down and this can tell you by just uh, looking at these type of uh, results here all right so that's something that you definitely want to check out all right so we're moving down to the most popular ads for an analyzed keyword right here so these are people who are running paid ads here it's going to show you a little bit of data on that it's got a total traffic uh, total traffic costs the total keywords and it's also you know if you upgrade your plan that you can see these type of ads now this is valuable information also when you are um, uh, doing a uh, paid search right and and that is about it in the keyword research section here guys if you like the uh, SEO rankings and you think that this can help you out in your business whether it's you're doing SEO or if you're doing even paid you can know what the amount that you somewhat with the amount that you're going to pay when you are running ads here and I think that this is some valuable information that you can use before you even get started on doing any kind of SEO or uh, paid traffic guys so there is a 14 day uh, trial that you can check out guys if you like this there'll be a link in the description where you can uh, sign up for this right here if it's going to help you grow your business guys thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one make sure you like this video